You have probably heard of the term earnest money when preparing to purchase or sell a property. But do you know how earnest money must be held and what circumstances it can be released? And what if there is a dispute and the buyer and seller don't agree on who gets the earnest money deposit? What happens then? In this quick video, we will fill you in on what you need to know about earnest money deposit in the state of South Carolina. In a nutshell, earnest money is money that the buyer offers to the seller up front when purchasing a home in an effort to show that they're serious about closing on the property. Now, please keep in mind that an earnest money deposit is not the same as a builder's deposit. So in this video, we're primarily focusing on resale properties. We get asked all the time, what is a typical amount of earnest money to offer? The answer is that there is no standard for earnest money. This is another point of negotiation on an offer to purchase contract, and some sellers may be willing to accept less and some more. Usually in our area, we see a range from $500 to $10,000, depending on the price of the property. Now, once an offer is accepted, the earnest money deposit would then be paid to the escrow agent per the terms of the contract. Typically, the buyer would give the earnest money deposit to either their real estate agent brokerage or to the closing attorney to hold in a real estate escrow account until the closing of the home or until the contract's terminated. So let's say that everything goes as planned and you're at the closing table. The amount of your earnest money deposit will be credited back to you on your settlement statement. Now, let's say that the sale does not go through because of one of the contingencies on the contract. For example, the appraisal came in low and the buyer and the seller could not agree on a solution so they just decided to terminate the contract. Well, at that point, your real estate agent will send out a release of agreement form, which will spell out that the buyer and the seller are released from the contract and it will specify who gets the earnest money deposit. Once this is signed, the escrow agent can then release the funds per the agreement. This is typically what happens and then each party goes their separate ways. But check out option four of the release, which states that the parties agree to terminate the contract, but they dispute the release of the earnest money. So what if there is a dispute on who gets the money? Or what if, as an example, the seller is frustrated about the appraisal being low and wants to make it difficult for the buyer to get their deposit? even though the buyer is owed the money per the appraisal contingency in the contract. Unfortunately, even if it's clear who should get the deposit per the contract, the escrow agent is not allowed to release the money until both the buyer and the seller sign a disbursement agreement stating who gets what amount of earnest money or until a court of competent jurisdiction issues a disbursement order. Most people are under the impression that as a buyer, as long as you have the contingency, if you cancel, you simply get your money back. Or as a seller, as long as the buyer defaults, you get to keep the money. And that is why it is important that you understand that in most cases, yes, it is that simple, but sometimes it is not. And so you need to be aware of all possible scenarios that could play out. If both parties can't come to a resolution within a reasonable time, the escrow agent can then file a complaint for interpleader. And if the court determines that interpleader should be ordered, then the court will either hold the money or they'll require the escrow agent to keep the money until further ordered from the court, which at that point, the court will hold a hearing to determine who should receive their earnest money deposit back. We hope this overview helped you understand earnest money deposits work in South Carolina. Make sure to give a like to this video. And if you have any other topics you would like to see us cover, please let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel as we release new videos every week that you're not going to want to miss. 
Happy house hunting! Happy house hunting.